All right, guys, uh, we're putting the brake housing back on the 190 XT uh, project here. I've, I've already renewed the O-ring and the oil seal in the last video. Um, really not much to them. Next step is to slide the housing in and then we'll get it uh, torqued up according to the specs. Um, there's shims that go on the back side of this housing uh, to set the um, pressure on the bearings here into the rear end on either side. So um, go ahead and slide this together. I went ahead and put some Lucas uh, assembly lube on both the seal and the o-ring and we'll just slide this dude on here make sure I get everything lined up here got my o-ring in place there's two uh, bolts that go on the inside here. The shims need to be raised up a smidgen. Alrighty. Got that one started. Same way down here. All right. And we'll just tighten these up and then we'll draw it in. And I'll set the torque on it here after a while. So we've got the right right side brake housing is installed, new seal, new O-ring um, on my shaft here. And I'll reassemble that brake unit here in just a minute. So I'll go ahead and grab my, uh, my band first and go ahead and slot it in there. Let's see, that band actually may be in the way of, of torquing the... bolts there. Yeah, I'll just keep that closed up. Let me see what my specs are on that. We'll tighten it up and I'll be right back. Alright, I got the uh, torque specs on the uh, brake housing. It's 100 to 110 foot-pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and torque these. Ahead and tighten up the other one a, a bit here. I'll work these in together. Let's go ahead and get this uh, brake band out of the road here. that one there's that one so I got both of those cap screws uh, torqued at 110 foot-pounds and now I'll be able to go ahead and install my band and uh, the actual brake drum and I'll slide my bands on first and there's uh, some springs one here and one down here that's going to hook up inside the band um, and hold those brakes from dragging on the drum 
so I'm putting new ones on that. So there's the new uh, brake springs. All right, not too bad. Basically, I just took the small screwdriver, put it up through the inside, and I got it hooked right like that, and then I just pushed it up. So that one's in. This one probably is going to be a little trickier. But we'll see how it goes. I'll expand the spring put a just a bolt right here just to keep this pushed up a little closer where I need to be and we'll try the screwdriver trick again there it went all right all right, so there you go. Be patient, it is doable. So I got both of those new springs in there. Look great. All right, on the, on the drum, the center part faces outward. And then the whole housing part with the uh, pad on the back faces into the tractor, so. Slide that uh, onto your splines coming out and get your brake hardware out of the way. Now it is designed that this shaft sticks out past um, where the drum sits. So that way it's fully um, all the way through the splines on the, on the drum. So now I'm just going to stick my bolt through here that's going to tighten up and, and uh, be hooked to the linkage here after a while. Though. So I believe in the manual, you can see that's drawn that off there, I believe in the manual that there should be two inches of play when you press your brake pedal. So basically you should be able to move it two inches before it starts to actually apply the brakes. So, really can't adjust that until this tractor is reassembled. So, we'll just put them on there. What looks like about two inches of travel right here. And then we'll actually set the adjustment um, once this tractor is back together. So, the next step is the uh, cover. So, let me grab that. So, here's the cover. show you on the inside of this cover that there's another plate here a wear plate and that's actually what this outer band is going to press against so when the brakes applied this will move outward um, basically wedging itself between the rear housing and this plate so these bolts here I don't know what the torque is the in, inside ones were 110 foot pounds, so if I was a guessing man, they're going to be pretty close. It's going to be a lot of force coming outward on those, so I'll get these on there. Actually, there's a the brake pin right there is a good Again, these are serviceable from the outside, so makes it a lot easier if you need to replace your pads or if you're having brake issues. All right, looks like that's probably about three quarter. Yep, three quarter this. We got those uh, those tightened up. All right, the brake cover torque is 70 to 75 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these. 
torqued up here. those torque so that's pretty much it I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side please hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below and make sure you turn on your notification bell so that each time a new video is posted you'll be notified